Hey guys, so today I went to MAC and had my bridal makeup lesson. So I thought I would, well I hope you guys like it, first and foremost, but um, I thought I would talk you through um, what products you use, because I absolutely love the tutorial, it went really well. Um, the lesson, more like it's an hour and a half, and at my MAC you pay £50, and then um, you have an hour and a half to go through stuff. She can either teach you and do like half your makeup, I know you're at one side, and you do the other eye, or you can just let her go for it. You can tweak things sort of as you go. Um, and I just let her do my whole makeup because I'm quite confident that I can recreate it. And then you get the £50 that you pay redeemable, blah, 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 redeemable against products, which I managed to do very well. And you also get, once your makeup's finished, you get your face chart which is here, so they pop stuff, you know, all over the actual products and then they write down all, you know, all the products that they use, the brushes. I thought it would be co quite cool to just go through it with you. Let's just get into it. Started off with the Mineralized Moisture Gel and then she popped on the um, SPF 50 Primer. I was a bit worried that with an SPF um, 50 Primer that it would flash back. The type of SPF in the product is not one that creates the white cast and then um, and she applied both of those with a, a MAC 190 so that um, the foundation brush had to sort of you know it was damp when she applied other products. A foundation which I purchased and I've heard Emily from Emily Clark talk about this foundation a lot and it's the MAC Studio Sculpt with the SPF 15 and I she popped it on for me in the colour NW30 and I normally go for an NC coloured um, concealers or foundations, but actually she said that I was <clears throat> I, I was quite pinky, which I know. So I think I normally try and counteract that with a yellow. But she said it's better to match my skin with an NW and then just warm it up. This is the Mac Studio Sculpt. It's so light. I just sort of like a semi matte finish. I like glowy skin, but at the same time I don't want to look greasy or hot in pictures. The Pro Longwear concealers, and I got two because I like it quite light and bright under my eyes, so NW25, so it looks like that. It's quite cool, so it's a little pump. Um, so I've never used that before, but that just felt great. It really set really nicely, um, and I've been wearing it for, got it done at 10.30, it's 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, um, and it hasn't creased under my eyes at all. NW20, so just one lighter for under my eyes. That was really cool. She set it with Max Prep and Prime, but it was the set powder, and I've always preferred the translucent. And I didn't purchase that, but I have a translucent powder. My eyebrows, charcoal brown to fill them in, and a Mac 266, and she filled them in really nicely. I like a bold brow, but I don't know. So I think she managed to get really nice line underneath here. Really gonna try and practice that. Then she moved on to my eyes. She popped painterly, which I have cracked, but she just applied that all over as a base. And bronze all over the lid, which I got in a pro pan, which is here. Okay. Then she did my liner, dip down. I have that already, and also it's one that is not gonna budge. And again, she applied that with the MAC. Oh my God, look how cracked it is. <laughs> she applied it with the MAC 266, flicked it out, and buffed it in with the 266 and this shadow, which I didn't have, uh, which is espresso. It's very similar to charcoal brown, but warmer. Then she just ran a little bit, once she smoked it out, she just ran a tiny bit of the bronze, um, mixed with a little a bit of espresso underneath my eye, just really close to the lash line, just to bring it all together, which I don't normally tend to do. I don't normally like to have darkness under my eye. Going dark on the waterline, which I normally do, it would just tie everything together and it would make me, if it's too bright with nothing under the eye, no mascara, no liner, then it can, you can look a bit tired on pictures. Onto the rest of the face and she used this product, which is um, a mineralized skin finish natural, which I already have in medium deep. But this one is called Give Me Sun and it's a lot warmer, a lot more golden and yellowy toned. I really like these. And she just used it on um, to contour and give me colour, so the back end of my cheek. Um, and then she dusted it sort of on my forehead and my temple area, um, a bit on my chin and um, on the front of my neck. She used a mineralised skin finish, mineralised blush called Dainty, um, but they did not 
have that in stock, otherwise I would have purchased that. And it's just a really soft pink, um, just because where she put the highlight and the sort of contour, um, it just needed to be blended. So she applied dainty sort of um, on my cheeks and blended up, but still kept it quite high. Oh, for highlight, she used vanilla pigment, um, and she used that underneath my brow bone and on the tops of my cheeks and she also popped it, I don't know if you can see, right there um, which she said would also help open my eyes up. And for lips she used, she lined my lips well, I said one of my favourites was patisserie and so she was like, right she went and got that because she thought it would be great and she applied it and she loved it. She was going to put a coloured cream sheen glass on top but ended up just loving the colour of patisserie on its own and then she got the clear lip glass from Topshop. She has this clear gloss in a cheek, which is very similar. That is what she did. Kavita did it, um, and she did an amazing job. So I love the look, and I'm going to try my hardest to recreate it. So um, let me know what you think of the makeup, if you like it. Any other recommendations below of what I can try, um, then leave them in the comments. Um, if you're watching this because you're getting married, then congratulations. Hope you have an amazing day, and um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.